wow. <laughs> Those first three seconds you think you're gonna die, but nothing really happens. Why I should come there? What's in there? It's just a celebrity island. Why do I even care about the celebrity island? Well, okay, ignore the celebrity thing, right? For one second, because the Bahamas is like an archipelago. You have over 600, 700? 700. So 700 islands. So you can imagine celebrities might be in, you know, one, two, three, four, five islands. You still have a lot to choose from. So ignore that. I think you got a ton, actually. You look... Well, thanks God, because <laughs> I was like a ghost. This is very important, climate. When is a good moment to come? Well, anytime you want. 320 days in the year are showing the sun here. I think I made a video last year saying that Madrid is the sunniest city in Europe. That's true, but we're talking about the other side of the world. Technically, it's winter from December to April, well in February. We're in winter and it's, what's the temperature right now? 25? Right. It's beautiful and you have the sun all the time here. Blue sky. To answer the question, when is the best moment to come? Anytime, it doesn't really matter. Our base is in Nassau, the capital. So there's Nassau, the capital, then you have New Providence, which is the area. And there's a little thing called Paradise Island, where the key resorts are, like Atlantis, Four Seasons, and so on. I'm gonna be playing with the drone. I don't know if it's gonna work. If it's good, I'm gonna show you this. week good enough? I think a couple of days if you stay in downtown. Oh yeah, this is also downtown. We have a jungle in the middle of all these buildings. Okay, so one coconut only. What? They should give you a big water one. See what heavy does that? In the middle of nowhere, just found fresh coconuts. Here in Atlantis, can spend a week, can spend two weeks. Because Depends. there's a lot of activities. Yeah, especially I see lots of families with the kids, so it is a paradise for them. Like going on the slides and going to the beach. The way I see it is that you have two realities, the downtown and the areas where locals live and the resort part. It's very similar to Punta Cana that you also have in Dominican Republic, the resort where the tourists are and then where the locals live or where there's activities for locals. If you want to combine both worlds, it's completely doable a week here to spend a day or two doing downtown and a couple of other areas over there and try out the rum cake. Then you have the resort, right? We are now staying in Atlantis. We didn't stay in Atlantis the whole time, only for four nights, but this is like a little bubble. You have the yachts around this area, mini village that they created. They have like five, six towers, the reef, the coral, the royal, like so many different towers. And you feel like you're in, in a massive palace. In a way, it's like being in a cruise. Die with their options. You might think, why do you go to Atlantis? if you're not willing to pay for this. It's okay to go to Atlantis, but sometimes prices are inflated. How much is a coffee? Well, we pay for our medium flat white over $14. This is more similar to the US, that you never see the final price. Whatever you see, then you need to add 10% VAT and 10 to 15 to 20% tips, 20, 30% yeah. extra. Don't forget you can always add extra grants. Ah, these extra tips. You end up paying sometimes even 50% more than what you see, which is, from our perspective, European perspective probably insane either you take it either you go to the grocery shop and buy your banana <laughs> the banana is 75 cents and a bottle of water if you want to buy in atlantis is like 12 to 15 dollars yes the water is expensive there's some little stores nearby that you can buy maybe slightly cheaper but on the other hand you need to know that maybe the atlantis is cheap or you got an option that is cheap and then you say oh it's my chance to go to atlantis watch out it's your chance but you're gonna be stuck in this area and you're gonna pay hundred dollars for a very average meal yesterday or two days before we went to the one of the restaurants of who knows the 20 restaurants that atlantis has just ate pasta ricotta ravioli you had like tortellini or yeah. something like that dips pay, and water how much we pay 90 95 90 or, yeah. uh, close to hundred dollars probably for that hundred dollars that's what i mean maybe we're missing something here i think if you come to atlantis just need to know like prices are inflated that's how it is 
Okay, so cuisine. We are both vegetarians, so for us, we struggle to find options, particularly here, because every place we go in general, we have a lot of options. But when you go to the islands, you know, you know, it's gonna be fish, you know, it's gonna be some poultry, some meat, you know, that your options are gonna be the side salad and the chips. We found falafel place. Ooh. By the way, Starbucks here is the best Starbucks in the world. We found a Starbucks with oatly milk. Yeah, that with... was rare and unexpected. Normally it's the cow milk or maybe soya milk, but they don't really offer oatly. This drink from Sweden, amazing. The best Starbucks we've ever been is here in the Bahamas. We're gonna have a walk around and see if we can do a night time lapse or some shots. We'll see. Overall, I think Atlantis was a cool experience and it's a great place to be. You just need to bear in mind a little bit the prices. That's all. That's all. For the rest, absolutely amazing beach, activities, resort options. So, why not? There's a lot of cool people around. Break the ice and start a conversation when you just grab your camera. Okay, you don't need a camera really. Your phone, like literally this little thing here, can do the job. Maybe at night it's more difficult because <laughs> it's very grainy. You need like a tiny light or a better microphone. So this is just a tool to share better stories. When you come to the Bahamas, you have endless options. Keep in mind, it's not just Nassau or Exuma. You have Bimini, you have San Salvador, Freeport, so many different islands as well to visit. We chose Nassau for the base because it was more convenient for us traveling during COVID. How long does it take? In less than an hour. Oh, brilliant. The thing with COVID tests is that you never know if you're going to be able to fly back home or go to your holidays because only 24 hours before you will get the result. When you enter countries like the US, it doesn't matter if you're fully vaccinated, you still need a COVID test negative. 24 hours before, you are like, uh, will I be able to travel back or not? Or should I cancel my holidays? Or yeah, this is flying in COVID times. If you stayed this long, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like below. And if you didn't like the video, like anyway. See you.